I've been sick the past couple of days. I'm feeling better now, so it's good to be back. Back to Maya at OP7. Trying to get up to OP10. So last time we were farming a little bit here in the uh, Commander Lilith DLC. We got ourselves a few things. We picked up this toothpick. We weren't trying to farm for a toothpick, but we ended up getting a nice OP7 toothpick. So that was a nice find. That'll be useful. And what else did we get? We got the Amigo here, Amigo Sniper. And we were going to get the uh, Overcompensator as well from this DLC, but to do that, we'd have to complete all of the other side missions or the other side missions first which would mean we would close off some of our farming opportunities like the uh, the loot midget farm from the porter potty so we're going to leave the overcompensator because i'd rather keep the loot midget farm open but some more valuable than having the overcompensator really the overcompensator is really just a reskinned butcher so we don't really need to worry too much about that. Let's hit this thing just for fun. Nothing there. Okay, so let's, let's just check the rest of our loadout here. We have the bee, blurred trickster, bone of the ancients, the shock bone of the ancients with the uh, shock pimpernel and the sand hook and magic missile. Might be, worth, might be worth jumping back to Sanctuary and picking up the relic that goes along with the uh, the toothpick, so we can get the get most get the biggest benefit from the toothpick. Let me just double check, but I don't think I'm currently carrying that relic. Oh, I am. I do have the mouthwash relic with me, so that's good to go. We are probably holding on to more relics than we need. Like these blood of the ancients, do I need this? And the skin of the ancients. So this is SMG ammo, pistol ammo. Well, that's actually quite useful because I use those quite a bit, SMG, if I ever were to use one. This one's assault rifle ammo and SMG ammo. So I don't know if they're worth it or not. Maybe I'll just hold on to them for now. How much inventory space do we actually have here? Maybe not much. Inventory is full. I probably should get rid of some stuff that we're not using. Hello, Raimundo. The only ancient relic you want is the bone. Right, so the other ones are probably not worth holding on to. So stuff like, let's say, Blood of the Ancients, we can probably get rid of that. Skin of the Ancients, don't need that. And this other Blood of the Ancients, we can get rid of those ones. That'll free up a little bit of space. Let's go ahead and sell those. We'll go over to the Marcus shop here, sell those off. See what the ammo shop has. Longbow, incendiary, bouncing biddy. Gun shop. Lame Snyder. Okay, so we can jump back to Gigi Struct Peak. We got what we wanted from the Commander Lilith DLC, which was mainly the Amigo. And I wouldn't mind picking up the uh, overcompensator, but we can leave that. We can always farm for a butcher at some point if we really want one. So brittle turtle shield, blue green, ammo shop, green grenade, and a gun shop, green launcher. Let's check our ammo. We can get a bit more SMG ammo here.
Now, as far as the loadout goes, we have the Shock Pimpernel. Let's just try out the Shock Pimpernel with the, uh, the Shock Bone of the Ancients here. See how that goes. I usually go with the Flame Pimpernel. Once you've finished Maya, who do you think you'll play next? I was thinking maybe uh, maybe Axton next. I've played zero up to you will help me. Please here. up to OP six. So I was thinking maybe trying out Axton. I have played Axton a, a little bit. I think I've played Axton through the normal mode, but haven't taken him any further than uh, normal mode. Let's see what we have here. A loader and a spider ant. Enough. Axton's very good. I've got mine currently to OP2. Does look like an interesting one. I have a little bit of experience with Axton and I did enjoy I did enjoy messing around with the turrets, that was fun. But it'll be interesting to see what Axton is like on the Digistruct peak. Might be handy to have those turrets and use those turrets to take the aggro off on Digistruct peak. Probably would be very handy. Keep an eye out for Raven Skags here. Don't want one sneaking, sneaking up on me. So we've got surveyors here. You're done. That other spider ant got pulled straight off the, uh, the side of the bridge there. Oh, did not see that uh, blast and nomad there. It's funny when that happens sometimes here yeah. with a uh, singularity grenade or or, uh, or phase lock. Sometimes you end up uh, pulling the enemies off a cliff. Always satisfying when that happens. Stay still. We have another wave of enemies coming in, that's for sure. Gotta watch out here. Horn skag. Which goes down the horn horn skags go down pretty easily actually. Even without slagging they went down okay. His metal his skill Metal Storm is a kill skill that gives you increased fire rate and reload quite a lot. Skill. I do like, yeah, that's, I do like skills that increase fire rate and uh, reload. Like Zero has some nice skills that increase uh, fire rate and reload as well. And I certainly do like, do like those. And I think Wreck is similar too. Like Mai's Wreck skill. That's fire rate and gun damage, so not not reload speed. But it's very handy to have that extra reload speed. Another enemy coming here. Lab rat. And what do we have here? Badass Marauder. 
Oh, that's it. I was expecting one more wave of enemies to come through, but that was it. Just that lab rat and the badass marauder. That was the final, the final wave for this section. So that was not too bad, actually. No raybird skags. No, no badass uh, surveyors. But that was not too bad. I think we got a lucky, lucky RNG there with the enemies that time. Nothing too tricky. We also have our new stuff we can play around with. So one thing I could play around with as well is we do have a on-level fastball here, corrosive fastball. So we could play around with that. And uh, we got the toothpick which is probably worth using with the, with the relic that goes with it on level Hellfire. And the Amigo, of course. That's always good, good for shielded enemies with that Amigo. That's something else we can also mess around with. So just for fun, let's throw on the Amigo and see how it goes. Now that we have it, let's put it on and see how it goes. Throwing grenade. So these guys are not slagged. See if I can slag some of these marauders. They they want to take cover. They don't want to come through. So once we get a kill, we are immune to bullets for seven seconds. So we can be aggressive after a kill if we're fighting an enemy that shoots regular bullets. I was playing my OP-10 Maya doing these insta-kill Hatterax glitch. Mountains of loot. That's one thing I haven't tried is the uh, Hadarax glitch with Maya. So if I'm if I struggle to get get through to OP10, I can uh, try that out. Are these turrets shielded? No, they're not. So I probably can just dr drop back to the shock pimpernel. I am curious curious to see what what it's like to insta-kill a raid boss like that. Now this shock sniper is working out well. This shock pimpernel with the shock bone of the ancients. They've been using the flame pimpernel and bone of the ancients. This shock one seems to do a good job. And would be more useful for shielded enemies too, so I might just keep it on for now. So yeah, if you can get insta-kills on a raid boss like that, it's probably very, very useful for farming stuff. And Hatterax has those items that are useful for D-Destruct Peak, I think. Some of the ones he drops. Hyperion loaders were originally designed for construction, not combat. You are now smarter. Enough. One loader down here. 
RPG loader, they're always a scary, scary one. Let's wait for a break in the uh, rocket volume. Actually, I am enjoying this uh, shock pimpernel. Seems pretty nice. Hatterax has everything in his loot pool. It's mad. Oh, I didn't realize he's got everything. So that's that's good. So you could you could farm him for pretty pretty much a, a, anything you wanted to. Does he drop a ton of loot like uh, other bosses? Other bosses do like a. Uh, Like the Uranus boss drops a ton of loot and seems to have every, everything in his loot pool as well. So is it kind of like that? Oh yeah, this shock pimpernel with the, the uh, shock bone of the ancients is actually very nice. Oh, I was trying to dodge that uh, shot, but I didn't make it. Yeah, you can one-shot these surveyors with the shock, the shock pimpernel and the shock uh, bone of the ancients. Okay, got this surveyor slagged at least. Hadarax is still an easy kill if you know what you're doing. Yep. Yeah, that's right. If you know. If you know what build to use. So as far as I understand it, what you do is you put points into one of these harmony ones. Life is it life tap? No, not life tap. Recompense. Is that how you do it? You put points into recompense? And make use of that. Oh, there's still one enemy behind. Oh, he's on the cliff. One enemy up on the cliff. Let's see if I can... Oh, it looks like it's a surveyor. So you can one-shot these. At least the regular surveyors once they're phase-locked. With this shock. Shock Pimpernel. Let's try the Shock Pimpernel here. Oh, I completely forgot about these guys. Let's try to get away. Completely forgot about the Surveyors. The survey is also slagged. I shot him once, not enough to take him out. Didn't quite make it. We still have at least, we've got three more surveyors still. Again with surveyor, surveyor fire. This is risky coming up this way with the scorch behind. Surveyor down. This 
So now we have one surveyor left. If the surveyor's flying towards you, you can uh, slag him with a magic missile. Surveyor is down this way. Okay. Took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Now, I wonder if the Pimpernel is actually any, any good for these guys, the Scorchers. Well, it certainly seems to be. Well, I should make more use of this nice. Shock Pimpernel. Another OP7 Hellfire. That made short work of those, uh, those Scorchers, this Shock Pimpernel with the Shock only the ancients. If you have recompense and the class mod that has over plus five on it, then go to where he spawns and slag yourself before he comes out his first crater, you'll have killed him. There are better people that explain it better. Okay, so that's the that's the basic idea. So you Recompense in a class mod to boost it with another five or over five. Then slag yourself or go to where he spawns and slag yourself right. Then when he comes out, you've killed him right. Okay, so it's a pretty, pretty uh, predictable way of doing it. Well, if you're playing Maya, then you might as well... Might as well make use of that. I know how to cheese the Pyro Pete raid boss, but uh, I don't know how to cheese any any of the other ones. So it might be interesting to try try that out. See if I can cheese that boss. And toothpick and retainer for the speed. Yep. Yeah, that would make the fight easier to have the have the speed in that area. Because that's when you get that bonus. I've been sleeping on this shock pimpernel and the and the shock uh, bone of the ancients, but uh, did a really good job against those scorchers. I should be using it more often. Took down those scorchers faster than the sandhawk. The Sandhawk and B did. Welcome, customer. Sticky lobbed slag grenade. Let's just uh, check our ammo here. Ammo looks good, perfect. Don't have too much fun. So we got Dukino's mom here. Let's. Uh, Let's put on a loadout for Dukino's mom. So corrosive lady fist, the B. Chaotic evil, cleric class mod, and sheriff's badge. Once I've got my accident to OP10, I'm going to finish my Salvador. Then redo Krieg from the start, since I know a lot more know a lot about him now right yeah yeah you could probably progress through much faster now you know a lot more about how to play the character and what builds are useful okay so what have we got for a secondary the pimpernel let's swap out the pimpernel maybe throw the herald on because we've got the sheriff's badge here That'll do. Stay 
I thought the animation gave you a little bit of a heads up. Oh, and a shock ball. We're still there. My shield might be glitched out here. It's not going to pull. For some reason my shield's not recharging properly. There we go. these guys off with the Herald. A couple more midgets left here. They're not very tanky though. Pretty much one shotting will get rid of them. There we go. You can really use any gun as long as as, as you have slag and the B, right. So slag and the B. Killer cat class mod. Well I have a legendary cat class mod, so I don't really have to worry about this one. And a dull blue pistol. There was a weird little glitch there with my B-Shield, it wasn't charging all the way. But uh, once I switched to the inventory screen and back again, it seemed to uh, charge fully. Tough decision. So we also have the toothpick we could try as well here. Kind of curious to see how this would go actually. We could try... Actually, we did have good, we did have good luck with the shock pimpernel. So maybe I'll just keep going with that. Shock pimpernel and the shock bone of the ancients and the sand hawk. So we have two of these Hellfires now. This Hellfire here has the matching grip, so we probably should keep this one with a matching Maliwan grip. We can just go ahead and drop this other Hellfire here. That does have the uh, four grip, but I still think the matching grip is a better option there. I think that's a four grip attachment. Let's go ahead and drop that other one anyway. So let's uh, take out the toothpick or the sand hawk. And we'll keep the pimpernel, shock bone of the ancients, blurred trickster. 
and the meat shield. Starting off with the sniper is probably a good idea. There is one surveyor here. Let's take him out first. And there's another surveyor too. Now we just have the one surveyor. He might come over the wall. No, he doesn't want to come over. Now he is. Where is he? There he is. Next wave. I think that's it for the surveyors. Now we have the bandits here. Maniac. So you need three bursts from the Sandhawk for a regular Marauder. Looking out for more surveyors. Don't see any. A regular marauder. it for that wave. Okay, I need to go now. Glad you're feeling better. Have fun. No worries, Raimundo. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you later. Now, looks like there's an enemy stuck behind the house here. There he is, he's way over there, the snowman. Oh, we got a badass surveyor. These are scary. I'll let him come across the wall and then I'll take him out. Here he comes. Two shots with the shock pimpernel, but they can be they can be very scary because they shoot more than one at once. They like shoot twice, which is enough to cause a lot of problems. Let's see if I can make use of my sandhawk a little bit here. Okay. So next, we must be getting close to the uh, the queens now. But before we tackle the queens, I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 